Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, all right, so kind of a deep message here in a way. I feel like you're with the two of swords here, this is the first card out. You could be a Gemini, you could be a Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? Um, what I'm feeling like here is you don't want any part of anything toxic anymore. I'm, I, you've learned your lessons. They were really harsh lessons. I feel like you've taken a couple swords to the back and you've had to heal from that. Um, this is... I'm getting the sense that people have betrayed you left and right, okay? That's the feeling I'm getting, left and right. And now you're, um, you're protecting your heart. You don't want to see people anymore. You want to be completely out of um, situations like you have broken free here is really what this is. Um, Earth angel energy, okay? And you did it. Um, you broke out of situations and away from toxic people. Um, with grace, okay? You didn't seek any kind of revenge for the betrayals. You didn't, um, you didn't try to retaliate in any way. You weren't going behind people's backs and talking about anything. You did it with grace. Um, you, you, you kind of left quietly. Do you see what I'm saying? You kind of, you were like, well, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to do anything to retaliate. I'm just going to take myself out of the situation. Or I'm just going to not, not think about these people who have betrayed me before. Okay? And I really do feel like you were stuck in the back um, a couple of times. Left and right by people is really what I'm getting. Okay? Um, and you just don't want any part of any, any more toxic stuff. You know, you reach a point where you're like, oh my gosh, you know, no more. You know, for me personally, I will tell you, it's like the older you get, the more betrayal you seem to go through. And by the time you reach like a certain age or something, because I'm old, you know, by the time you reach a certain age, it's like, I've just had enough. This is hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. You don't want to have any more to do with it, man. You just want to live in peace. You want to be happy. You want to move forward, okay? And you want to start a new life. You know, you've seen the people um, that have betrayed you. They've shown you everything that you needed to see. And what, what you didn't see in them, the divine showed you, okay? Um, but you've got complete and utter clarity here. You're moving forward beautifully. You're gorgeous. Um, you're being replenished. Um, you're, uh, you're looking beautiful. You're feeling good. You're high vibing. You're extremely intuitive. You're still being graceful about the pain and the betrayal. And um, you're now in both, I feel like, um, feminine and masculine energy. You're taking on the traits of the emperor. You're moving into your masculine energy where you, you know what? You're not, if you're not gonna, if somebody's gonna show you their true side and betray you, you're just not gonna deal with them anymore. You're just not gonna deal with them. And that actually takes their control and their power away. And now you regain control and power over your life. Okay. Now you're ready for a brand new beginning here. Having the clarity that you need about people who have betrayed you and toxic situations and knowing beyond the shadow of a doubt that you don't want to be in anything that's toxic. You don't want a part of anybody who's betrayed you from the past. And you're standing your ground with that in emperor energy. You're like, you're not going to budge. Yeah. You've seen all you need to see from people. You felt the pain yourself, and you're just not dealing with it anymore. And because of that, as you move forward with this clarity and knowledge that you have, you're able to have a brand new beginning. The people that you're leaving behind are angry. Uh, they're upset that, that um, they're out in the cold now. I feel like they may even need some kind of financial help here. They're, they're, they're becoming broke. There's no new opportunities. Some of these people uh, um, have some bad health. 
they may be wanting some kind of handout because um, they're they're having a very difficult time financially, okay? And they're angry. They may have something to say about you not allowing them to betray you anymore. They're upset because you're not allowing them to be your doormat, their doormat anymore, okay? Um, they may feel ashamed. They may not even want to show you their face after the way that they treated you. And I feel like, you know what? Collective, you've always had these two cups in your hand ready to give your love out to people, okay? You, you wanted to nurture people. You wanted to be kind to them. You may have helped them at one point, but they turned their back on you. They didn't treat you so good, okay? So you're leaving them behind. Yeah, things are about to change. The door is shut on these people because of their manipulating ways, because of the ways they betrayed you. And um, I feel like they stuck a sword in your back and just, like, left you there to heal on your own. They just left you there like, oh, well, you know what I mean? An earth angel. They did this to an earth angel. Not only that, but I'm seeing you as a light worker here. And some of you, um, I feel, are being led to go to a different location altogether. So you could be moving away, which would really upset these people. Because they won't have you there to use and betray anymore. You're making these people look at themselves. Now they, if they need help, who are they going to go to? The one that was always there to help them, their earth angel... Their earth angels leave in the picture, man. You're gone. You know, and you're leaving as an empress, okay? And I feel like, um, yeah, an empress in the mat. Look, you're leaving abundant, independent. You don't need anybody in the energy that you're in. You're both empress and emperor energy here. You don't need anybody. And you realize that. You're standing on your own two feet. Not only that, but you've got this abundant throne here, something solid. You're growing possibly a business for yourself or whatever craft you're working on. Or your, all your hard work is paying off. Let's just say it like that. It could be anything. You could be just working a lot all the time. You know what I mean? And growing your stability. And now, I mean, wow, are you stable you got nine pentacles, you've got the abundance of an empress, um, and the power of this emperor. Um, I'm telling you, yeah, this is all you. And, um, yeah, you're graduating from the last cycle brilliantly. I gotta say, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, and these people are out in the cold, broke. You're probably the only one that would have helped them as an earth angel, and you're gone. And now they're in a lot of regret, maybe not wanting to show their face. Yeah, but here's the thing. You're making them think about themselves. They may be stuck in their life, but you're waking them up. You're waking them up to the fact that you don't mistreat a good thing. You don't take an earth angel energy, somebody who's always been there for you, someone strong and stable, and betray them and leave them there to bleed out on their own yeah sudden realization oh crap the collective was strong the collective was honest the collective had integrity and i treated them miser miserably what do we do now the one person who could have helped us is gone yeah a big aha moment a big aha moment. You know what? You made everything beautiful for these people. I feel like it's multiple people. It could be just one, but I feel like it's multiple people that you've had to leave behind because of the betrayals. You know, and yeah, you could have you could have made these people extremely happy. Yes, you could have. They're seeing this now. You're making these people think and realize these things about themselves. And that's what an earth angel, you know, you're here to wake people up. You're here to inspire other people. But they, you have to make them look at themselves first in order to do that. And that's what you're doing as you leave. So good job, earth angel. You, you, you did what you were supposed to do. And these people, man, I'm telling you, 
Yeah, light worker energy on the bottom of the deck with the star. You were their healer. Like I said, you would have helped these people. You probably were the only one that would have been willing to do it. To help them with anything, be there for them, lend a shoulder to cry on, give them advice, help them with money in a time of trouble. Do you know what I mean? But that's gone now. Their healer is gone. And they're angry. They got something to say about it because you know what? They're not doing so well in their life now without you. If you mess with an earth angel, number one, you can never forget the earth angel's energy, okay? If you betray an earth angel, I'm telling you, you get your karma for that. And that's what's happening to these people, okay? Yeah, you, look, <laughs> you were the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Sun. You were strength. You were the Empress. You were the Earth Angel, and you're moving on. You could have given these people a wish-fulfilled life. You would have been solid and strong and loyal for these people. You would have been compassionate, loving, and nurturing to them for the rest of your days had they treated you decently. But since they betrayed you and they didn't seem to care, um, I feel like they, they, uh, they broke your heart, they stuck a sword in your back, and nobody even came to give you any honesty. Like, where were they for you? And they want you to be there for them? It doesn't work that way. Yeah, see, now they're realizing, oh, crap. I could have had, I could have had a perfect life had I had I stuck around with the collective. Or they're seeing the collective was nothing but solid and strong for me, man. What was I thinking, right? Sudden realization here with the hangman, the sun, the tower. Yeah, they see everything now. Now they don't want to let you go. But this, the the fact of the matter is, um, they have to rebuild on their own now. They've got to do their work. They've got to put the work in and they've got, they're on their own. Yeah, hermit energy. You're leaving these people to their own mess. You're leaving them alone. So, yeah, um, this person, if it's one person, they definitely feel very much alone. Yeah, now they're intimidated by you. They see your divinity. They're realizing, I have feelings for the collective. I don't want to let them go. They were kind to me. They were there for me. They were nice to me. They, uh, they helped me. They were solid for me. I don't want to let them go now. Not, not only are they realizing what they lost, but they're realizing how they feel about you, really. But now it's to the point where they're way too intimidated and um, uh, they've done too much to you. They're afraid to approach you and apologize now. Man, you are really there for these people. I feel like it's multiple people. Okay? Yes. Thank you, Divine. It's multiple people. It could be a whole friend group, family group. Um, it could be exes. It's everyone. You're, cut, you're leaving behind everybody. And I feel like you're about to move someplace new, or that could be in your future, or you could have already done it. Um, yeah, now they want to come in and apologize. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry for all the things that I did to betray you. I'm really sorry I turned my back on you and ignored you afterwards. But I feel like this is coming to an end. They may be hoping that this apology will transform the situation and get you back into their good graces or get back into your good graces. But I feel like you're going to see this person, like when this person comes to you as a page of cups with a fish in the cup, you're not going to believe them anymore. It doesn't matter who it is. Anyone from your past that you feel has been toxic to you, you're not going to believe this anymore. You're going to be like, I sat on this. You betrayed me and stuck this long sword straight through me. I had to pull this out myself. And see, the Queen of Swords, 
before this, you were in the Queen of Cups energy where you were loving, nurturing, kind, giving. You wanted to love people and be there for them, and all they did was betray you. And now, after all of this time, they're coming in with a lame apology? Mm -mm. I feel like this situation is coming to an end. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, heavy on Gemini. You could be a Leo, Virgo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Scorpio. This person really screwed up, Pisces, yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like it's, uh, it's multiple people though, you know, and I feel like you're going to take this sword, all of these people, I feel like it's multiple, you're going to take this sword, you're going to, if they come towards you, you're going to speak the truth, and the pain's going to end up being theirs, you're giving them the pain back, you're giving them the burdens back, they're not yours to carry anymore. And you're cutting this out. You don't want to look at it anymore. You want to be free from all of this pain and hurt and heartbreak that these people caused you for no reason. And so, yeah, the pain is coming back. And the only thing that they're going to have left is memories because you're leaving. You're leaving anything toxic behind. Yes, you are. Yeah, people, I feel like there's uh, there could be a couple people that want to come back in with something to say, collective, um, maybe a lame apology, right? But you're going to see is just, yeah, it's not enough. They did too much, and they seem to not care, okay? And this could have been done by a whole group of people. Yeah, you're moving forward. You're leaving all of this pain and anything toxic behind, okay? And leaving these people, a whole group of people, of people who have betrayed you. They didn't care at the time that you were crying. They could have even laughed about it. They talked about you behind your back. They maybe blamed you for things, right? Projected their issues onto you. And all you wanted to do was love them. Look at that. That innocent love, all you wanted to do is love these people. Now you're leaving them to fight amongst themselves. Let them blame each other. You know, let them pick each other apart. You're not a part of it anymore. You're taking yourself peacefully out of the situation. Okay. Yes, you are. Um, let's get some advice for you, actually. So you're moving on and you're very balanced and in this very strong energy, okay? You're not backing down. You're not giving up on yourself. And you're moving forward into wish fulfillment. You're going to be in the ten of, ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. And these people, you know, you would have continued to nurture them. You gave them unconditional love. All they gave you was a sword in the back. You're outie. You're out of there. Yeah, pew, there you go. You're leaving as quickly as you can. You're clearing this energy out. Um, yeah, you're being, you're being guided and led. You know, you have a deep knowing that you deserve better than the treatment you get from these people. And you also know that there's good things coming to you. Blessings, right? Things that are fated for you. Blessings that have been kept for you. And now that you've passed your tests and you've learned your lessons, I feel like all of these blessings are going to start rolling in. Okay. Yeah. You're taking a, a leap of faith into the new, new. You're starting a new beginning here for yourself. You're releasing all of the things that the, the people and the situations you put love into, but only receive pain in return. Right? And you're thinking... Um, what are you going to build next? I feel like all the puzzle pieces are falling into place with these people too. Anybody who didn't give you any, any answers, any clarity, any closure, you're getting it on your own. Um, whatever the divine feels you need to know now, they're going to send you the message themselves. You're out of this situation and you're letting this go. Yeah. 
Yeah, and you're embarking on a whole new way of life for yourself. I'm telling you, you're about to get all of these blessings. You're clearing out this energy, good, burning your sage, clearing your mind, right? Closing off the doors to the past. And these people that you're leaving behind, oh man, there's so much chaos and drama in the background because now, now without their doormat, they have to fight with themselves. They have to blame each other. They have to take advantage of, of somebody else now, okay? And they're going crazy. They're going crazy.